Now to Labour MP for North Durham, Kevin Jones. Kevin Jones has been on this case mm. for many, many years and has now today highlighted another extraordinary thread to this scandal, that a pilot scheme was rolled out in 95 and 96, a full three years before this scheme came online, in which staff were prosecuted because of a glitch in the system. Kevin Jones, it seems... Good morning to you. 95 and 96, Good the writing was on the wall even then, and yet the post office persevered with this scheme, Fujitsu carried on. Uh, what does this say to you? Well, it's what I've come to expect over the years uh, from the post office. It's been lies and cover-ups all along. Uh, but the key point is we've got to get these convictions overturned because they're quite clearly unsafe. But if there was problems with the pilots back in 95 and 96, is there any evidence that they were then able to fix it before it was rolled out properly in 1999? Or do you think they just kicked it into the long grass because at least two post office staff were prosecuted over it? No, it was the usual. The computer is always right. And the unique situation is the post office had was the ability to prosecute people themselves. Uh, and also the contract that the post office uh, postmasters had meant that they were apt to pay any shortfalls back. Uh, and that seemed to be then arrogantly used by the post office just to uh, cover up their own mistakes. Kevin, you're a long-standing campaigner on this issue. Does it frustrate you that it's taken an ITB drama to bring this issue to the fore? I mean, we're talking about compensation moving at a snail's pace. Does it frustrate you that it's taken an, an ITB drama to actually get ministers round the table and the pressure on them to, to move quickly on this, to act? No, no I think the, document, the uh, drama was very good because it put the victims at the centre of it, which I think is uh, the right thing to do. Um, myself and James have both not been at this for many years, and uh, um, you know, it's have we have we had ups and downs over the years? Yes, we have. But the real issue uh, that this would not have come to anywhere without Alan Bates and the campaigners who took the court case, which then discovered all the documentation which we knew was there that they were lying. Of course, uh, he was dismissed rather haughtily, wasn't he, uh, Mr Bates, Alan Bates, by the post office minister at the time, Ed Davey, post office minister between 2010 and 2012, now the Lib Dem leader, a man who we see today has called no less than 31 times for people in public life, Kevin, to stand down or resign or be sacked since 2019. He doesn't seem to practice what he preaches. Well, no, but he's just one of a succession of, but say, useless post office ministers we've had uh, that James and I have dealt with over the, the years. Credit to him, the one that really uh, changed this was Paul Scully, who, when he became post office minister, uh, did really uh, make sure he got some answers and got change. But before that, frankly, no, they just believed what the civil servants told them. The worst one I think I ever experienced in a Westminster Hall debate was Joe Swinson. Kevin, what do you make of Fujitsu's role in all of this? Of course, the company behind the Horizon IT scandal, they're managing to keep a very low profile in all of this, not only keeping a low profile, but they're also receiving many public sector contracts. Well, they shouldn't. And uh, what they've got to do is explain their position uh, and take responsibility. Um, I don't think the government should give them any new contracts until uh, they've... Uh, fully explain their role in this and take some responsibility. Can you explain also why we've talked about the snail's pace uh, compensation pair? Why is it taking so long, Kevin? And why is it taking... Why have only 93 postmasters, postmistresses, bit, had their convictions overturned when there were over 730 uh, prosecuted? Because uh, the system relies on those people coming forward. And if you've met many of the victims, which I have over the years, they're completely traumatised this process. They're not going to go anywhere near a court of law. Uh, but it's fact that's come out both at the um, inquiry and also the court case uh, that these arising uh, convictions are unsafe. And Paula Venels, uh, who led the post office uh, when said postmasters were wrongfully prosecuted, over a million people have now signed a petition asking for her to be stripped of her CBE. What do you think? Should she lose her CBE or should she hand it back herself? Well, well I've been calling this for the last few years, including writing to the Fortitude Committee. But the irony is she was actually given it in 2019 when all this was known. 
uh, for service at the post office. So it says something about the way these honours are actually handed out in the first place. But if she had any decency, I think she would give it back herself. All right, that's Kevin Jones. Always good to talk to you, Kevin. He's the Labour MP for North Durham who's been fighting this fight on behalf of the postmaster and postmistress for a very long time.